Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing something way out of my league, but it should be pretty cool nonetheless. And, you know, it's uh, it's something I do a lot, just on something I never work on. So, uh, yeah, let's go get some coffee, let's head down to the shop and we'll show you what I'm talking about. And I am uh, daily in the E36 right now because the I, tr I sold my Ranger, as you can see it's not anywhere here or at the shop, so uh, that's good, kinda, because um, I got some money out of it, but yeah, so daily in this, because that's gone, the Integra still needs tires and alignment. I have the tires to put on, I just need to do it, I need the extra money to do it, and then the throttle's kind of sticking a little bit, and then the uh, S2000 is broken at the moment, so we're waiting on parts to fix that. So, uh, drift car is the daily car right now, but you know, we're chilling. It's all right, we got air conditioning at least, but uh, yeah, let's go. This is what we're working on today, Nissan Titan XD with Cummins. Uh, I didn't even know these things had Cummins. Like, I thought I had heard about it at some point, but I'd never, you know, seen one. But yeah, it's just a, well, I don't know nothing about diesel, so you tell me. Any diesel boys in here? I don't know what Cummins motor that is, but yeah. So we're looking at doing a hood dump on this. So first things first, going to have to take the hood off. Um, hood struts don't even work right now, so that's always a joy, too. It's not very light either, but... Yeah, the, you can see the wastegate pipe kind of back there, that shiny pipe. So the exhaust currently is dumped right there. So ideally, chop that somewhere right before it starts to turn away, probably up by the flex bellow or something, and then going to have to see if I can try and 180 that around. But the trick is going to be seeing where this thing even bolts to, because I cannot... I can barely see the V-band up there, so trying to access it is going to be very not cool. So, yeah. Uh, I should have enough material, and we're going to add a V-band, so that way, or a second V-band because of where that other V-band is for taking it on and off and stuff. The whole unit is going to be a huge pain in the butt. So I'm going to try and muscle this thing off the best I can and then figure out where I can cut and start to bend it up. And uh, we'll go from there. So I'm gonna try and figure this thing out and we'll just, we'll go along as I figure it out. <laughs> Fuck, man. I finally got this thing out and all I can say is that it definitely made me say a couple of bad words. So yeah, there's no room. Like I tried going underneath this side, underneath that side, over the top, inside out, upside down. Like I ended up laying all the way across the bay and using an 11 mil wrench because my ratcheting end is broken and turning that thing an eighth of a turn at a time until it's you know loose enough to do it by finger but it's finally out and uh yeah my face and hair is all covered in soot because you know since he had it facing down and i was looking at it from underneath the subframe or the frame rails and everything covered in it so look at how dirty i am let this be a lesson to you you get what you pay for when you come to somebody like me so this guy's definitely, I told the guy that, you know, it's definitely going to be more than we had anticipated because of the labor involved in getting this stuff apart. So thankfully he's cool with it. He's got a truck show coming up. So let's, uh, let's keep cracking at it. So now that that piece is off the truck, I'm going to try and bolt it back up and see if I can mock it up. I, except the clamp that's on there, I would have used a socket, but it requires like a super, super deep one, which I don't have. I don't work on diesels first time ever. So I'm going to actually trim the clamp down a little bit because there's no need for that much threads. And then that should make my job much easier in this reassembly process and, you know, test fitting on and off. But fuck, dude. I'm, yeah, something. All right, current update. This is what we're working with so far. So this is just to get me up facing up. And this took me all day to do. I am so scratched up. I am so like, like, dude, my, my stomach is all red. Like this has been such a difficult job. Thankfully my buddy Chase came down to lend me a hand with getting this thing uh, in and out of the truck. Because after I started adding the pie cuts, there's too much weight for me to reach all the way over and you know under and yada yada yada. But yeah, making steady progress. I got the purge going right now, filling it back up, trying to get this section welded out. Because I need help getting this stuff out. And then this V-band is going to be facing up right around here. Uh, that area. So with the V-band right there, 
I'll be able to just build straight up from there. I won't need anybody else's help here to hold parts for me. So cracking away, long day, very painful day with this truck, but we're actually getting it done. I didn't think it was even gonna fit to be honest, but made it work somehow. All right, making some more progress. This is finally starting on the top section. Thankfully the top section is gonna be much easier. Just welded the V-band, waiting for it to cool before I take it apart so it doesn't warp. Um, but yeah, you can kind of see, grab this light over here. See this guy? There we go. So, there she is. In all of its pie-cut glory. So, yeah. Extremely tight fit, but, you know, it fits nonetheless. So, uh, right now, yeah, I'm working on this. <clears throat> top section you can see there's the v-band right back there and uh yeah so just gotta get it to come up over this cowl and uh we should be good so looking pretty solid and then he's saying over here changing the oil on his s14 you may recognize that from one of the older videos but yeah i think we're like i think it's about 5 30 almost in the evening right now i'm very tired i'm very much in pain but gotta get this done it's almost done though i should be able to finish up tonight the guy will pick it up tomorrow so I just sent him some photos, so hopefully he's stoked, but yeah, progress, progress. You having fun over here? I'm trying to get this canard back on. Oh, Isn't this oil can the worst? Like it literally just like, it, the oil hits it when you drain it and it just spills everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, it's sh stupid. It's literally shit. Shit. <laughs> All right, so almost seven o'clock, but I just finished welding up the final piece. So this is obviously the tip. Got the badge on there. Looking super nice, but yeah, I'm gonna let this finish cooling off, bolt it up, and then all I gotta do is bolt on the last couple bits of hardware that I had taken off, which was like, this was for this heat shield that's right here. Uh, this is just folded back. Uh, yeah, a little heat shield right here, and then one of these is to the back of the EGR thing, which I'm gonna do that now before the pipe's in the way, actually. And then I got three nuts down here for the EGR, or not EGR, the wastegate that goes right there. So just plug those back in and then snug down the EGR line, actual EGR line on that side. Um, Cause I loosened it a little bit and then we're done. So long day, but yeah. Once I bolt this on, I'll, uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like, but this turned out really good. I am gonna clean up cause I didn't purge right here. I didn't have, uh, I, I don't know, I totally spaced it, but the rest of this is all purged out. It looks really nice, but yeah, very cool. Gonna clean the tip out just so there's no gunk in there. So it looks a little bit more professional and uh, yeah, wrap her up. Okay, should be finished uh, buttoning everything up. I got the hose put back over, got the bolts down there tight. So that's what we're looking like. It looks like it's leaned a little bit forward because it is. Um, part of that was intentional because I, it's a diesel. It's gonna soot all over the windshield. So I figured if I leaned it forward just a little bit, it would help counteract some of it. So it's not so much just the immediate cloud and uh, you know the contaminants getting straight on the windshield. So, um, but yeah, I'm gonna also tell the guy, you know, if he wants me to straighten it completely, we can do that. But you know, probably cut the hood first or something. So I don't know. Um, we'll see. I'll send him some photos. If he absolutely hates the slight forward incline because of, you know, me trying to prevent the soot on the window, then I'll come back in the morning and I will, um, more or less just probably cut it level if anything. So yeah, should be pretty easy, but it's looking pretty good. Oh, just took all stinking day. I am beyond tired. I hurt so bad, but hopefully it was worth it for the guy. And, uh, yeah. I guess that's pretty much it. We'll see you guys tomorrow. So we're back here the next day now. Um, diesel truck just went home a little bit ago. Dude was super stoked on it. I uh, just actually had another truck roll through a 2023. I forget what it was, but he just ran to go get some exhaust piping because I didn't have any and he just wanted something cheap and quick. Now, normally that's not my thing, but this guy seemed pretty uh, persistent. So I was like, you know what? Just run and go grab it. We'll make it work really quick. So we're just chopping the muffler off this truck, uh, you know, to each their own. So in the meantime, uh, the S2000 is still in need of some work, obviously, since, like I said, you know, we're going to tail the dragon. So basically what I got going on with this thing today is I'm trying to, well, primarily today I want to do the subframe, the rigid collars, because, you know, after my last track day back in March, I had some alignment issues. Turns out my subframe had shifted. So in this case, I'm just trying to get this thing situated. 
Um, I never, I bought the rigid colors after my last alignment and I was like, dude, I, I just spent like 500 bucks chasing this issue before I realized the subframe had shifted. I don't want to spend any more money on alignments right now. So now that I got brand new tires, I may as well get the rigid colors done since I'm going to have to get an alignment anyway. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I, I'm waiting for my buddy Niles to come down. I helped him do his, so he offered to help me do mine. So once he shows up later today, we're going to knock those things out. But in the meantime, depending on how long this truck takes, I'm going to try and get the valve lash adjusted on this thing. S2000s are pretty particular about the valve lash, um, especially when you drive them hard. You know, it's a sports car. You got to maintain it like a sports car even though it is a honda so the valve lash on these things is pretty important so i do mine pretty much every 10,000 miles uh 10 to 15,000, depending on how i've been driving it but you know it's just time i can tell uh the car starts to you know feel a certain way and then uh it'll be a little bit more ticky obviously because they tend to loosen up on these motors so need to do the valve lash so i'm gonna go ahead and do that um whenever this guy you know gets back we'll knock that out first so in the meantime i think i'm just gonna pull the valve cover off pull the intake off so i have some room to work and then set this thing up to top dead center so the truck just left i just did it was like a 2023 uh gmc trail i don't know whatever it was um but it just did a muffler delete really quick i was stoked so now i'm back to working on the s2000 so so far i've got the valve cover off i got cylinder one at top dead center um i'm just about to start doing the valve lash these cars uh, i do mine pretty frequently like i said so you know i just keep the uh info down here on the sheet and I have my feeler gauges just on their own little thing right here. So yeah, we're good to get started. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna plow through this. I don't have my head strap because I was wanting to film this for you know a TikTok as well. I left my head strap at the house because I didn't plan on filming today, but I just brought the GoPro just in case. So you'll have to you know bear with me on that. So I'm gonna knock this out quick and hopefully Niall shows up here pretty soon because once I'm done with the valve lash, or maybe part way through the valve lash, I'm gonna go get lunch and stuff because it's already quarter to two. So. Yeah, just chugging along, trying to make something of today. So I am done with cylinder one, working on cylinder three. Now I noticed that the cylinder three spark plug still looks okay, but of all of them, it was the most gritty in terms of like, you know, blow by and then a little bit more uh, oil on the tip. So I know cylinder three in, in terms of, you know, health of the four, other than, you know, same with the compression test is probably the worst, but it's definitely a lot looser than the others because the exhaust side on these cars is supposed to be, you know, around 11 thousandths. And uh, so in this case, you know, a 12 shouldn't fit and then a 10 is going to be super loose. So in this case, this is my 12 thousandths. I know you can't see that, but take my word for it. And yeah, that slips right in there on both of them. So yeah, not too sure why that is in terms of why that one is so much more worn or loose. Um, Cause like I said, I'd have to look at my log book, but it hasn't been a crazy long time, probably around 10 12 thousand since i did this last but i don't know i just thought it was interesting wanted to show you guys and point that out a little bit later in the day now boys finally showed up niles and ryan and even chase came to hang oh, out okay. so yeah uh spoon rigid collar time so on these guys we have to where'd you go up here we have to disconnect the steering coupler momentarily just to drop the subframe down and then yeah all we're doing we have the six bolts one two three three over that on that side we just lower it and then we place the collars in between. There's some paste with it, you know, so it doesn't, you know, get all bound up over time. And yeah, we did his recently and you know, teamwork makes the dream work. More so for uh, just having companionship, but yeah, should be pretty support. easy. Yep. Yeah, more support. support. And then uh, we have them for the rears too. It's a nice little spoon kit. So my first spoon part on this car per se. So right here, these fancy boys. It's about time. Yep. It's about time. It's oh, about time, about yeah, time about we do time, them, or about yeah. time I got some spoon parts. Spoon baby. Nah, it's more. <laughs> Where's your spoon parts? Uh, I got have those. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we, we got spoon parts. I got yeah. spoon parts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, even these were two hundred bucks. Yeah. You got yeah. The front rear? Or is that just? No, this is front rear. rear. Yeah. So here we go. There's a little paste. We got some JDM stickers. Got some instructions. And uh, yeah, so you can see they are sized differently, but this is this is it. So yep, yeah, let's have some fun. It's actually it translated. Oh, uh, yours weren't. No. Oh, you bought no. yours straight from Japan, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I bought it a uh, gray market. Yeah. They're like, yeah, this dude's white. He needs. He can't read Japanese. <laughs> that, that's where the extra uh, oh, yeah. cost comes from. The translation. <laughs> you guys did it all. Cause I got two boxes for my for my kit. It's cause your car is twice as big. Twice as big, but only 100 pounds heavier. Twice as big. <laughs> <laughs>
fucking hip thrust, dude. I know. <laughs> Jesus. My, my nephew punched my finger, so it's big and swollen just for you. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> Is this the right size for the middle? Yeah, 14. Okay. Oh, you want to give me the bolt just to double, double check? Slide it right in. Yeah. Been on, man, no loop. Yeah, that's you it. You just seen him loop <laughs> <laughs> on the outside. <laughs> I need a little bit more. Coat it, baby. It's a little bit, bro. That's a lot. <laughs> bro, you need all the room. A little more. A little more. Damn, holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> you need to make sure that this thing's good. So this is uh, the middle one. For yeah. Sure, right? We gotta lower it more. <laughs> Why you do this to me? What's going on, gentlemen? Are you sure? A little more. Shoot. <laughs> oh, that's all they really want. They really want to go sideways. Is that better? Yeah, one second. Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> they do it. Nah, let me just check it out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they do it. They do it. Yeah, they do it. Yeah. You gave him the wrong one, Chris. I gave him the right one, but it's my oh, subframe might be damaged. <laughs> I hope it's not your subframe, dude. So that one's a 14 right in the middle, and this is definitely the 14. It shouldn't be fighting me like this. It's right on top of the hole. All right, so time has taken way much longer. Well, if that made sense, it's taken way too much time to do this. We've been chasing issues, so. I ended up tapping this corner to be safe. This side we just had to re actually re-tap because it did get, you know, screwed up. Yeah, something's jacked up with my front subframe, so this is not going nearly as easy as Niles' did, so... Whatever, this is the last bolt, and then we should be able to suck it all up okay. I don't know. You looking forward to doing yours, Chase? Mine are done, baby. No, they're not. I got, I got spin collars on my car. No, you don't. I paid a shop to do it. No, Fuck you that. didn't. Fuck this shit, dude. No, you didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. I done, done, did, I done no, did, no, did, no, did it. Take it back out and redo it. All right, you're right. I bought the collars and gave them to the shop. No guarantee that they actually put them in. Did you really? Yeah. Oh, I thought he was cheesing. No, I'm done. What shop did you use? Import Powerhouse. Import That's these here? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't know the shops here, dude. The front is finally done. Only took about a year and a half, but thankfully all the threads are good. They are saved. And yeah, I don't know. Big ups to Niles for sticking around for that because uh, <laughs> we had some fun. Yeah, <laughs> in the office, in the air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so now we're just gonna move on to the rear end. So, got the one right here, there, and here. Do you have a tape measure? Uh, top of the toolbox, the red thing next to the whites. Thank you. See, everybody gets confused when I tell them exactly where something is. They just like, they weren't expecting such a direct answer. <laughs> like you yesterday, Dude, like second drawer down drawers. from the left. I can't and count drawers, <laughs> apparently. How row you go? Hello. It's only an inch. You should need a tape measure for that. <laughs> 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 I'm professional Asian. <laughs> <laughs> it's just too high. I can't put my, uh, you know, my measurements up there. Oh, you're tightening. Oh. How does it feel having a jungle boy work on your uh, a car, dude? <laughs> well, he can't put that in the video. <laughs> <laughs> sure he can. You can't be, uh, you can't slur yourself, right? But if Niles wasn't in the video, then I would get comments that I'm racist because there's never any people like him. That's true. People like him. That's <laughs> true. What? Are you too short? This needs to come down just a tad bit. Ooh, you liar. It said about an inch. That's pretty far. Where'd you go? Oh. There you go. Lube tech. Thank you. Did say lube tech? Yes. <laughs> the guy doing it all. <laughs> of course. Oh, jeez. Oh, uh, that's going in the video. <laughs> well, they have you didn't use a fucking ball detent either. I'll show you a ball detent. Do you want me to get like your fucking pumped arm or? Yeah, get the right arm. There we go. Let's see. Let that. Me, let's fucking let's. Let me get that. Up. 
We're gonna have to charge them for this now. <laughs> this OnlyFans shit. I'm not even looking at the nut. It's a bolt. Uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> There's a reason oh. I said nut. All right, now we gotta do the little guy. Okay. Easy. That's gonna be the essential. Oh, no. Look at him go. No, we need to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll do. We'll do 45 foot pounds. Well, that's a. That's a drone. That's a half inch, buddy. Oh my bad. I was just grabbing shit. You see what happens when you grab? I was just grabbing shit. I don't know your fucking socket size. Oh, Jesus. Driver says. Who tightened that one? It was me. <laughs> I'm like, uh, I don't think that one was me. <sighs> All right, we're good. Finally. We got All done. It's all dude. Uh, all ready to go, right. except for that front left corner. Yeah, no, once the brakes show up, then we'll be pretty much dragging ready. So. Yeah, I already checked my service records. My diff I did last oil change. Oh, yeah, dude. Tranny fluid was a oil change before that, so yeah. Finished my oil change, now I do the valve lash and the collars, put my new brakes on, and yeah, do the oil. Ready to go. Yeah. I'll just be crying the whole time again. Yeah. Depression. Good bit of depression. I told them to drop out of school. Who needs to take their 12 year, you know, midterm final? <laughs> <laughs> Don't write me out how long I've been going to school, goddamn. <laughs> He's a super duper uber super senior. Yeah, man. He's still in high school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my high school midterms. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just glad this thing's over with. Water, you, don't kind of you don't need water. There's no water in the jungle. <laughs> That's racist. Uh, thanks for... Well, you just had to tell me. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Alright, well... You know, I suppose it's probably going to end this video off. So, now that I'm, you know, again a mess, this is whatever. But, Standard another, another solid day, honestly. I made a few bucks, got that other truck done. The diesel went home, kid was happy. And my car, thankfully, is gonna, you know, it it went together. So I thought we were gonna be broken. So if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. If you're new to the channel, hopefully by now you've considered subscribing. And uh, you know, if you wanna help support me a little bit further, I do have t-shirts on the velocityracefab.com. And uh, yeah, just go check the website out. Get that SEO up, as you tech guys like to call it, right? The search engine optimization. Sure, sounds good to me. Yeah, all right. Don't know what that means. <laughs> Something like that. Anyways, guys, do yourself, <laughs> think about the rest. And uh, hopefully next time you see me a little bit cleaner. But see ya.